Hi, Nick with Halo Inc. And today I'm going to show you how we uh, use our GravTech plotter to plot out a template um, for an acrylic um, standoff install. Uh, so what we have here is <clears throat> it's a little uh, attachment, and we have uh, we have our, our pen here. Um, it just basically slides in, and then you just spin that to to lock it in into place. Okay. So I've already removed the uh, the blade from it. So all to do that. All you want to do is you just loosen this screw up right here and then you can pull the old one out and we're going to drop the new one in here. Okay, so there's a little groove right here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, as you tighten it up, you're going to lift this little plastic piece, this little plastic deal right here. You're going to lift that up just so it slides into that groove, okay? Now you don't want to wrench it down, just get it finger tight in there, all right? Now there's a bunch of different conditions that we have set here for different things. Um, since we're going to be using the pen, pen is condition four. So we're going to reset our condition over here. Um, I already actually have it set, but I'll show you how we, how we set that. So you're going to hold down enter, which brings up all your condition numbers here. Four is what we want, so we're just going to go ahead and press four, and then you can let off the enter. It's ready to roll. Okay, so that's gonna bring us over. Now, as you can see, our material is already loaded in here. Um, we, could, we could go back and shoot another video on how to load the material, but I, I think, we, I think we, we have covered that in previous videos. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to the machine here. <clears throat> okay, here is what we're going to be cutting. Well, not cutting, but plotting out. What I want to do is I'm going to delete that. I'm going to delete that just so we can show you from the from the beginning. All right, so we're going to go up here to open file. Okay, we're going to open our file. Um, it's actually already populated, so our 7709 is what we were looking for. I'm going to go ahead and select that CNC file because the CNC is the file that we want for this. Okay, we're going to just go ahead and open that up. Okay, so here's what we're gonna be plotting out. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a control A, which is going to select all, and it's gonna select the area that we need to actually pen. Then we're gonna come up here to this little knife tool right here. We're gonna select that. We wanna adjust our material. Um, sometimes, typically it'll come in, it'll come in as, uh, as a different size sometimes. So what you're going to want to do is select 53. Our material itself is 54 inches, but we need to compensate for the, the grippers on the side there. Um, so we're going to subtract an inch. All right, so it's actually 53. So then we're going to look down here and we, we see that we have 36, 65, Okay, so 36 by 65, that's the job that we want. That's the size that we want. And we're gonna go ahead and come up to this next um, knife tool right here. And you see a few things selected here. Um, with this, we don't really need to worry about too much of those, but I do want it to advance after plot, so make sure that that box is checked. And basically what that means is after the machine performs um, performs its pen, it's not going to back wind, and then just to have to wind it back off to take it off the machine. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to go ahead and send it. So we hit send, and then I do an alt tab over to the other side of Flexi here. Um, it's given us two different files. One is a weeding file, and the other is the actual the, the pen plot. So if we select the one that's holding, which is what we're looking for, the holding file, we can look up, up here in this corner and see that it's the box with the circles in it. That's what we want. Okay, so we're gonna just come down here to the second one, which would be a weed file, and we can just delete that one out of there. Okay, so we're gonna stay on the holding. We're gonna go ahead and send that. And if you come over here to the machine, you can see it's actually starting to do its thing. So it's gonna draw some holes.
and now it's doing the uh, the border of it. And then that's it. So we have everything that's been drawn out for us, a nice template. So now we want to get the material off of here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to press this down arrow, all right, forward it out just a little bit so it just bumps out. And then we're going to do, we're going to cut the material off. So then we're going to come up to this, uh, the cross cut button, all right, just press that once. It's going to give you a few uh, uh, options. You're going to go ahead and press one to cut. So now your material is separated, ready to be rolled up, set on the table, and we can trim these out, put them in a bag, and they're ready for, uh, for the install.